two ninety nine in uh, quartzite. Not too bad, but yeah, that's. I think we paid three twenty at Costco and Chandler. Headed to our regular spot on Plumosa Road. Got a few days off from work. Making sure everything's okay. Beautiful day. Hardly anybody here at the Chevron. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. We got into our spot here, not too bad. Nice drive over here today. We left our house at 5.30 a.m. because they were uh, closing our streets at about seven to do some uh, tarring and sealing of our streets in uh, Chandler. So we got out of there, can't drive on it for 24 hours. So we left early, took a few days off from work. And uh, yeah, this is nice out here. Not many people out here yet, so. We're probably going to put the deck out and have a good time. Good morning, everybody. It's about uh, 6.30 in the morning here at Quartzsite. I'm on Plumosa Road, and uh, just getting light out. Boy, it was warm yesterday after we got set up. It hit 91 here at my trailer. It uh, was a warm one. We managed to make it through without turning our air conditioner on, but it... It was pretty warm inside the trailer. I think we got up to about 87, 88 inside, but it, outside it, it actually was not bad in the shade. There was a little bit of a breeze and it, and it actually was pretty nice. And uh, making this video, I haven't made a video for a while. I haven't made many more because I haven't much, had much to say or to show and I have something to show a little later and it'll probably be in my next clip. I think uh, some people will be interested in it. I built something. I did run the heater today, furnace, more just to make sure everything worked on it okay. I cleaned out under the cabinets the other day. I think it's just about ready to shut off. But the low I have right now is 60 outside, and I think it was 62 inside, but it might have gotten another degree cooler here before the sun comes up. Um, it was not too bad inside. My 300 amp hour battery was uh, down to 68% this morning, so that's pretty good. I was happy with that, but we didn't watch much TV last night. We kind of sat out on our deck and enjoyed the evening before we went to bed. And it was fully charged, of course, in my storage I'm able to plug in. And then we had uh, the solar panels up on the roof to keep it topped off all day long. So this is my new trifold solar panels that I put together. It has a piece of Velcro here holding them together on one side. And then you just unfold it. And I put a piece of cardboard here. Keep the face from getting broken or scratched. And unfold it one more time here. And then I had a towel in between those two to keep those two faces from touching. I'll do these in a uh, series, but I, uh, I just attached these stands here that I made just out of aluminum. Kind of just zip, uh, twist tied those on here. These are just some aluminum stands I kind of put together here. 
nothing fancy just prop them up on the end keep them up so I kind of put together this little kit here this is a SAE plug but I kind of made it so it's all quick disconnect so that'll plug into my solar controller that's the SAE and then this is for the solar panels with the MC connectors on it so I just connected these up in uh, series, positive and a negative, positive and negative. And then I got them going to the MC connectors here that I bought. This is a 20 foot, uh, I think it was Bouge RV. Uh, I think that's a 10 gauge wire. And it's 20 feet long. But uh, I, for now, I just put my controller over here on the ground. Like I said, I have it with the SAE connector, so I can quickly disconnect this. And then that goes up under my trailer there. I ran that up into the ba into the battery compartment with a fuse. I'm not going to show that. You've seen my battery compartment on previous videos. but So I'm not liking setting this on the ground. I don't know if I can set it up here, but I don't have enough... Uh, slack in my line so i'm i'm this is kind of just the first this is the first time i've done this so i'll probably just leave it here for now and see how it works and uh i tried to make it so it's easily deployable otherwise i'm not going to do it and those panels those are energy panels those are 100 watts that i got on sale on prime days back in october i think i paid 52 bucks each if i remember right i was asking my wife and i I can't remember, but um, I think it was 52, possibly 55. Um, 100 watts, and uh, they're not too big. They weigh 13 pounds each, so all three together isn't too bad. It's close. I put it on my scale at home. I think it was like 42 pounds, 43 pounds, something like that. And then you have the uh, extra tall hinge here, so it overlaps that one, and then... This is just a regular, I think this is a six or eight inch uh, hinge there. And uh, it's pretty easy to do. You, you don't have to be a genius to figure out how to do that. Um, but I've wanted to do this just for extra power and you get the advantage of aiming these at the sun where you can see the ones up on my roof, they're just flat. And I notice in the winter, boy, I don't get the power out of those as you do obviously in the summer because the the sun's low in the winter. This is November. I think we're at November 5th or 6th right now. And uh, I brought the gener for, generator for a backup, but my generator is leaking oil and I can't find the leak. And uh, I tore this apart a few months ago in the summer. Literally tore the whole thing down and I cannot find the leak where it's at. And I think it's a, a seal on the engine close to the frame because it's dripping down on the frame so i don't want to buy a new generator right now we're going to retire in three four years and i want to get a smaller one that's uh only weighs about 50 pounds dual fuel and it has more power than this one does so that's what i want to do but i want i don't want to do it now so we only use the generator out here uh three times a year roughly when we're out here boondocking and maybe more my wife's going to be retiring soon so this is my setup for now and i'll get some readings here after a while this is the bluetooth module that you uh, plug in there's a communications uh, port on here and you just plug that in and i already have that all set up from when i had it in the rv originally just plug that into the comms port right there and I'll just loop it up here for now. Like I said, this is just kind of a test. Let's see where we're at. All right, so this is what I'm getting off my roof panels right now. Getting 8.3 amps and 113 watts. So I have 525 up there. So you can see that the angle, inclination of the sun being lower in the wintertime is uh, affecting the production of that because they're just flat laying on the roof. And then these are the portable ones out here I have. Getting 3.6 amps and 211 watts out of a possible 300. So a little bit better. Home in Phoenix about a month ago I tested these out in the backyard and I was getting uh, I was getting uh, 240 
watts out of it so 80 each and it was a little bit hazy but I thought maybe I'd get more than that since you can aim them a little bit more towards the sun I think I'm gonna be happy with that out here in Quartzsite and then if we go up to the mountains in Arizona if we can get outside the trees find a place to put these out that'll help our solar production All right, there's the view out our window. Got the awning down to keep the sun off the trailer. It does get warm in here, but it has been cooler since that first day. That first day was 91 and it was 85 yesterday and it's forecast 85 today. I don't have much to talk about in here. I just thought I would show it. Uh, we don't have anything new and there's been no problems. The refrigerator and uh, microwave, stove and oven all work good. Refrigerator's 12 volt, haven't had any issues. We've only used that oven a couple times, but uh, we do use these battery candles that are with the remote. We have a whole bunch of them. I think eight pack at Costco we got, but those are kind of nice around here at night. And my 40 inch TV that I put in six months ago, and I moved the uh, 32 inch TCL with Roku into the bedroom up there, and uh, that works good. I had a Vizio 24 inch up there and I couldn't see it very good and it, and it didn't work very good. But this is a TCL with Roku as well. And uh, you can see we're kind of packed up. We're going to head back a day early. That's how I strap my zero gravity chairs in. I strap them down and it goes around the griddle with my fire pit there on top. And I also throw these extra folding chairs on top of there and strap all that down on top. And that's how we travel. That leaves this open. But there's nothing new in here. Not much to talk about. Um, I'll talk about that solar on my next clip. But uh, everything seems to be going good in here. Pretty happy with this trailer still. After uh, a little more than three years. And uh, hopefully we can come back here at Christmas for a week with some friends. That's our plans. Hopefully the weather will cooperate. The weather... It's, it's been warm in the day, but the nights have just been really nice. Low of 55 today. And I have been running the furnace more of just to make sure everything's good. And I, that, is, that is a tip I have for people, especially if you have pets, is to make sure this area here, this is the air intake for your furnace. And uh, if hair gets in there in the furnace, it will uh, stop working. But I also go in this area. You're not going to see in there very good under there and I pull this drawer out here under the stove and you can access back in there to the furnace and I clean that floor once a year and also over here under the refrigerator. Try to clean all that, keep the dust bunnies out of there. That will foul up your cell switch and your furnace will not work. And a lot of times you can just take that cell switch out and clean it if you have access to it. But I have never had to do that because we don't have pets, but I do try to keep that clean. Just a little tip there. And I think that'll it. I'll be I'll talk about the solar next. So I wanted to talk about the solar a little bit, and uh, it's been really working out great. The roof panels combined with this is uh allowing me not to have to run my generator. Uh I've been getting about uh 260 watts out of these three solar panels here, and that in combination with about two two fifty roughly on the roof with the flat panels up there um, is allowing me to charge the battery completely before uh, about four o'clock five o'clock it actually finishes and it starts at 60 percent so from 60 to 100 percent and you know during the good hours 10 to 2 is the best hours but yeah it's working out great i'm really happy i did this this portable is working out good just after sunset Gonna have a fire out here on our deck. A little bit of breeze up there, but none down by the ground. Got the game on. For some reason, it's not focusing. Got the Broncos and Raiders. Looks like it just started. Got the deck. Got my propane fire pit. We just had some good hamburgers grilled out on charcoal, not the gas griddle. Been a nice few days out here at Quartzsite. Not many people and today so far it's uh, about 82 degrees so it's been quite a bit cooler. 
that's been helping keep the trailer cool but i think we're going to go ahead and finish this video off here and i want to thank everybody for watching and uh i don't know how many more uh, videos i'm going to make in the future uh, i probably will some if i have new stuff to show but as you can see from my videos we pretty much do the same things and go to the same places so if i have something new to show or some mods that i do to uh, my trailer uh, i'll put that on a video my truck has been towing the trailer just fine i haven't had any issues there that half ton truck's been serving me well i, I actually seriously looked into getting a three-quarter ton truck and i decided that we're not going to do that um I only have 55,000 miles on that truck. It's a 2015. And I think we're just going to keep that truck. It's a really nice truck. It's the Sport Edition Ram 1500 2015. And we really like it. It drives nice. and It's uh, working for what we need. So, all right. I'm going to finish this off. Thanks a lot for watching.